115 days and counting. Very nice hat. <laughs> For a while, we knew when and where the couple would walk down the aisle. But as we digest the latest slice of wedding news, a clearer picture is emerging of what to expect on April the 29th. <laughs> on the morning she marries, Catherine Middleton will travel to Westminster Abbey by car. She's likely to depart from either Buckingham or St James's Palace and be driven along the Mall, across Horse Guards Parade, into Whitehall and finally Parliament Square, before arriving at the Abbey at 11am. Once inside, and by Prince William's side, three key figures will share the ceremonial duties. The Dean of Westminster, Dr John Hall, will conduct the service. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr Rowan Williams, will marry the couple. But the all-important address will be delivered by Richard Charters, the Bishop of London, giving him, some claim, a more prominent role than the Archbishop himself. There's nothing controversial and nothing snubbish about the Bishop of London participating in the service. He is, after all, out of the three participants, the closest to William. He confirmed him when he was 12. He was an executor to Diana Princess of Wales' will, William's mother. He gave the address at Diana's memorial service, the 10th anniversary in 2007. It's what William wants. It's what Catherine Middleton wants. They want the Bishop of London, and that's what they're going to get. And like his father and mother 30 years ago, Prince William and his wife will board a carriage for the return journey to Buckingham Palace in front of thousands of well-wishers. And then, perhaps, from the balcony, a kiss. Not everybody's lucky enough to have two wedding receptions, but that's exactly what the newlyweds will get here at Buckingham Palace. First, a much larger reception hosted by the Queen, including guests from the congregation. Then, later in the evening, Prince Charles will host a dinner dance, a more intimate evening for close family and friends. And after what will no doubt be an exhausting day, they'll be desperate to jet off on their honeymoon. Where and when? Well, for now, they're keeping us guessing.